racism sure I would I would imagine that you I would imagine that you have empathy for the plight of the black Canadian I, I'm not oh. we're here for our freedoms we're here for our rights we're gonna make a difference and we're gonna do it we're gonna do it diplomatically yeah we're gonna vote Trudeau out PPC Maxim Bernier we're at the small business BC protest behind me is a crowd of a few hundred people very eclectic I must add, people from all walks of life, all ages, um, vaccinated, unvaccinated. Hopefully now people are kind of realizing like what it really is about and that it's a lot more than just a passport. We're going right back to Nazi Germany with this. And if nobody sees this because they've been denied a history. They will not be allowed to go to a restaurant, to other public places. And that, that in a sense is, is, a, is a form of segregation. So yeah, I do not support that. You do not support that. As someone who's vaccinated, you do not support that. No, I, I do not. I want to see every single person next Wednesday carrying Canadian Bill of Rights. Yeah. This is the foundation we're going to reestablish within our country. It seems that they are all rallied behind their disapproval of the vaccine passport. Something's going on here. I, it's, this is aggressive. They're going to wake up with the worst hangover they've ever had when they realize that the government, the media, and everybody has been lying to them and that the drugs that we're talking about right now actually prevent you from getting it and stop the spread of COVID. I think that the political powers that have become accustomed to doing politics one way are not prepared for what is transpiring across this nation. There is a change. The political landscape has been shaken. I think it's time that you, whether you're vax, not vax, mask, not mask, it's time to stand. Yes. It's time to question. And I don't think that people that said, you know what, I'm going to get the shot so things can go back to normal. I don't think that they said, yeah, and now I want to prove it everywhere I go. Like, or that I want to keep up my status or like continue to go back and get boosters or have my small children vax. We are the only political body that is against lockdowns, curfew, stay-at-home policy, and now a vaccine passport. You can count on me. Unfortunately for you, you're watching this on YouTube. And unfortunately for the world, the YouTube is quite particular about things that don't align with their uh, very narrow way of delivering information. So if you want to see this full report uh, on this protest and me getting assaulted by a dude wearing an F racism shirt, I know the irony's crazy, you're going to have to go to rebelnews.com where we can bring you the other side of the story. I'm Matt Brebner and this is Rebel News.